Hey, you got time for an update? If you do, I got time to give you one. Honest. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. I'm the host of On Top and Hot. And this is Friday. It is May 12th. Now, on this show, we look at OTC and penny stocks that have the potential to make us money. And in any given month, we're probably looking at 40 to 50 different stocks. That's a lot. That's good for you. But that's a lot of work for me. Now, I'm not talking about making the videos. I'm talking about the follow-up. Keeping up with all the filings and the news presses for every single stock. Whew. No, I can't do it, folks. I wish I could. But every now and then I can make or take an opportunity to do an update. And that's what I'm doing right now. I was reading a, a news press that just came out for Power Nickel just as the bell rang. And I thought to myself, we just covered this April 30th. So while it's fresh in my mind, why don't I just give you an update? So that's what we're doing. Now, because this is an update, we are not going to go through everything we went through in the first video. That's what the first video is for. So go watch it. It'll help my algorithms. <laughs> But they had news come out today. This is a mining company up in Canada that's primarily working with nickel up there. They have other mines down south for gold and silver and such. But right now they're really focused in on nickel because nickel is important. We need them for these EV batteries. Lithium and nickel. Everybody's mining lithium. We need the nickel and we want to get it here in North America. Well, up in Canada, they are getting 50% of all their exploration costs covered by the country, 50%. So they're doing a lot of exploration right now and they're finding a lot and that's what the news is today. And I've even got a little bit of a bonus on top of that. So PNPNF, she finished today at 21 cents with about 5% loss today. Now, when we looked at it at the end of April, she was at 16 cents. She got over that 200, hit a high of 28 cents, which was well over 30% gains, and it now has fallen back to 21 cents. But she is still above that 200. Once she broke out, and it was one big solid bar, she meant to do it. She has not come back down to that 200. She has just been consolidating, which is a good thing. She's on the middle tier of the OTC, the QB, the better tier. It's better because these companies must audit their financials. They have to enlist the CPA. She's also got that verified profile and a transfer agent. More verified information. This is looking good. So what is the relative volume around the news? She dropped. I mean, it was a rough day on the market. There was a lot of dropping today. She went from 33,000 down to 10,000. So really, there's nothing more we want to look at now. You can get everything else in the other video. I want to check out that news. Now, the company's had a lot more news than just one piece since we looked at it at the end of April. But most of the news has been about them getting ready for their virtual investors conference. Now, these are great folks. They get together about a dozen companies all from the same sector. Now, what you used to have to do is drive to another city if you wanted to participate. You'd have to sit down in an auditorium for 10 to 12 hours, listening to each company for about an hour, hoping yours was the next one. Well, not anymore. Not since COVID. Now they've gone virtual. It's all online and it's all free. Just sign up, use your email address to sign in, and you can watch any one that you want, any time you want, in your most comfortable chair. Well, they just had their conference yesterday. The video was released. I watched it today. He does cover the news I want to talk to you about for about a minute and a half. So we're going to take a look at that after we take a look at the news. So this is the news that came out today. When we originally looked at this at the end of April, it was because of this news. Hole 23 delivers. Boom! They had found this huge load of nickel up there in Canada. And where you find one pod, that's what they call them, you normally find that Mother Earth has belched up a whole bunch of other pods. And that's what they're excited about. And right now up there, Quebec, Canada is paying 50% of all exploration costs. So they can do a lot more exploration, which is what they're doing. And that's how this came to be. They tell us here that Power Nickel discovers a new high-grade copper, palladium, platinum, gold, and silver zone five kilometers northeast of its main disk deposit. That's where all their nickel is at. They are getting one ounce per ton combined platinum and palladium over 7.75 meters thick. Folks, that's over 25 feet 
thick. It is a huge area. And they believe that underneath that is a huge pocket of nickel. So it just keeps getting better and better. Now, they've got a lot of technical information in here. It's just chalked full, and I'm not touching any of it with a 10-foot pole. Like I said, just coming up over here to their virtual investors presentation, we'll get that information. There's the link right inside. Click that. It'll bring you over to here. Just go through what they need you to to sign up, and you can see what I'm going to show you. It is about 45 minutes long, but we're only going to look at a minute and a half just about the news that we were just talking about. Um, just yesterday, we released an amazing result, uh, about full five kilometers away from our core ore body. We drilled a wildcat hole, um, and uh, we came back with almost eight meters of uh, one-ounce PGMs. So platinum and palladium. So uh, they sit over top the massive sulfites and in the uh, ultramafic sequence. Uh, so quite a astounding discovery, really. And the type of discovery that you associate with really massive nickel discoveries like Norilsk or Boise's Bay. So um, it gives us a lot of excitement to think that between you know our core discovery and there, there's uh, obviously a lot of uh, sequence to to discover. We just recently flew an airborne EM over that. And massive sulfides are quite magnetic, and airborne EM is a great way to indicate if, if it's uh, charged. And those things lit up uh, pretty in a pretty exciting way. So we're super stoked about that, and we think that that uh, really augurs well for how big this project can be. What's really exciting to me is the technology they're using for exploration, for their tomography. You heard them say they flew over the area and they took some pictures and the area just lit up real bright and they got all excited about it. That's how easy exploration is. Once you identify it, when they get a good drill result, they fly over the area and they read the magnetic signature. Satellite sends down sound, it bounces back, they get a picture of it in all those colors. Well now, since they know what a good find looks like, they can fly over areas they have not tapped into, not drilled, and if they see that signature without having to dig, they know what's there. And that's gonna save them a lot of time and a lot of money. And they're gonna be using this technology in their southern mines, the ones in Chile and such, for gold. So they're gonna be able to locate the gold reservoirs easier. Now keep in mind all those mines down south those are going to be part of a spin out. We haven't got a date yet when they're going to do it but they're going to take all of those mines put them together in one subsidiary spin it out onto the NASDAQ and those are free dividends for us. Now I've got 10 reasons here that you need to be looking at this company between the first video and this one. We've covered most of this but I really suggest you go to the video that just came out with the Virtual Investors Conference. The CEO does an excellent job of this. But that is all part of the heavy news flow. This company is constantly going to be putting out assays. They're going to tell us what they're discovering. And they're doing a lot of exploring right now because, well, Quebec, Canada is covering 50% of it. Not the mining, the exploring. So they're doing a lot of it. And the more they find, the more they're going to get, right? I keep saying that because that's the whole thing here. So we've got 10 reasons here. They're all worthy of considering, folks. There's a lot of information and there's no way I can cover it all. So please be doing your own due diligence. In the meantime, let's go take a look at that chart. I got a pipe and bowl of PN, PNF here. Who wants it? <laughs> Six month, four hour review for Power Nickel. And of course, we're doing our charting on Thinkorswim. This is the free trading platform you get just by signing up with TD Ameritrade. So here's our breakout. This happened in November. We had a huge volume spike, but look at how small our price bars are. She got up over the 200 with no intention of staying there. She came back down and bounced off the 20, and then you get intention. Look at that bar. Boom! I want to climb. And she did. From November all the way to February, she did not stop, going from a low of six cents to 26 cents in February. Then she fell fast and furious, slicing through her 50 day SMA, stopping and hitting the 200, bouncing off of that, and she's climbing again. But it does look like she's ready to roll down and dip again. Well, I'm okay with that. Rips and dips over the 200 are totally acceptable. She's on an uptrend right now. As long as she's staying above that 200, rips and dips are all good for me. Looking at our 20-day, one-hour view, there's our low of 15.5 cents, 
and there's the day we looked at it. She was roughly at 16 cents, hit 23, has come back, and as I said, she was serious about getting over 200 on the one hour chart and she hasn't come down off of it. She's just been consolidating sideways, looking like she's waiting for these SMAs to come to her. Here came the 20, right now our 50 day is about ready to cross the 200. That's a golden cross. That's a power sign, one of the strongest on the charts. A lot of people will be watching this. Now looking at the oscillators, it looks like the price could come down to the 200 very easily. But with the 50 coming up underneath it, it should slap it in the and go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Looking at our five day, five minute. It's an uptrend. I mean, look at that 50, right on up there. There's our 20 as she's going sideways. The 50's coming up underneath it to slap it. Our oscillators don't look real happy right now, but look at the volume. It is increasing, getting bigger and bigger and bigger with an uptrend. So rips and dips are you know, the norm for this. As long as it stays above these strong SMAs, I am confident that PNPNF is going to be doing well. And there's a lot going on right now. Do you know in North America right now, we have over $50 billion committed to battery mill manufacturers, companies that are going to be making electric batteries? This company has already been approached by companies who want to secure materials. Normally these companies go to other third parties to get the product after it's been processed. These companies are coming directly to the mining company saying, we want part of this. We'll help you and invest if we can get part of it. So there's a lot of interest around this right now. And as soon as people start realizing that, this thing could really shoot folks. Nickel, it's not gold, but it is precious. Remember, do some more due diligence, folks. I haven't covered everything, and there's a lot of good stuff about this company. Matter of fact, go check out that video the CEO just put out at the Virtual Investors Conference. It's worth it. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya. Ti-da-di-da-doo-doo-doo-pa-pa-dum-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-